yeah, it was really a good, uh, yeah, good to see where they all where they all stood at this point, and and some of the freshmen, you know, their first meet of the year. So, and we actually were missing two a few of our top athletes. So I was really happy with how, you know, how we performed even even without a couple of the top top athletes. Uh, yeah, I think we have a st- really strong team, stronger even than I thought we were going to be. So I'm kind of excited to see what we can do. It's a long season, so excited to see where it goes. Yeah, it's kind of our first really big meet of the year, and it is a big meet. It's like the largest cross-country meet in the country. Um, they have high school races, too, in Division One, Division Two, but it's always a huge one, and, and teams come from all over the country. Uh, so it's really a good chance to kind of see where we stand against some top teams from across the country, you know, not just in our conference and region, but also across the country. So, um, yeah, so it's our first big test, really, and now it is a 6K. Last, last meet was a 5K, which the rest of the season we run – uh, six kilometers. So for the freshmen, it'll be their first 6K ever because they ran 5K in high school. So it's a good it's a good test. It's a good chance to see where we are. It's a good chance to learn how to run in one of those big events with that many. You know, there's been as many as uh, 400 runners in that race. So it's a big it's a big race. Um, yeah, a little bit. It's 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 that one's hard because it's like if you don't get out fast enough you know you get buried so far behind but if you get out too fast you're going really fast with some really top fast runners so you know I tried to tell them to get out but also be patient and then be patient about working their way around because as the course you know goes along it kind of people get spread out and so if you get too nervous in the beginning that you're too far behind you have enough time um but if you don't get too far back, it's a lot of working around people. So it's it's kind of a, you know, I tell them to work with their teammates. They try to, especially we have a few groups that are really close in where they where they race together. So, you know, work with their teammates and kind of keep track of where their teammates are. Uh, kind of helps them to weave through the, the big crowd, depending. But if they're patient and they run, you know, they... They race like how we train and, and are, re- are ready to, to do what we've done there. They'll run well. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And I think, you know, for Madison, the senior, and Madison was sixth in the conference last year. So to have Maddie, so it's Maddie and Madison, have have her there, it, you know, gives her, so even in the workouts, it gives her someone to really train with, um, you know, at that level that she's at. Um, and then we actually did a time trial on the track this last weekend. And Lauren, who's on the, Lauren McCullers on the ski team, um, and she's on the cross country team too, but she didn't come to the first meet. So she's coming this weekend and she actually ran faster than both of them in the three K time trial. So it's going to be really interesting because I, I'm going to have three, you know, I've, I've had one or two that have been in, historically in the past. I've had one that's been way up in front and then a, a pack, but this is the first time I'm going to have like three that I think could be towards the front. So, you know, that's where I kind of see we could be a really, really good team. Cause then I have a good pack that would be you know, numbers four, five, and six, and seven. So so it'll be interesting. But, yeah, it definitely helps with the training. And, and I think it kind of pushes the upper, upperclassmen a little bit going, hmm, why is this freshman doing so well all of a sudden, you know?